Looking to find out what other people earn? You've come to the right place. Stick around as, in this video, we'll be sharing some actual salaries from people who have self-reported them. So, if you're trying to figure out what career to pursue, here are some data points about how much certain jobs are being paid. This could help you get new ideas and perspectives. Take note that these are from Reddit, and you should take them with a grain of salt. With the goal of promoting transparency about salaries, let's proceed with the video. The first job we've got is a bridge operator. They make between $35,000 to $40,000 a year, depending on overtime they put in. According to them, they make enough to pay the bills, live comfortably, and do things they want. They have great benefits, insurance, and work in the bridge house 90% of the time, which shields them from the cold and heat. They often play Xbox, watch TV, take naps, or read books. Although they work alone for 12 hours at a time, they say it's a pretty chill job because they don't have a boss looking over their shoulder. However, it can be a lonely lifestyle. Despite this, if you're looking for a relaxed job, you might want to check into the bridge operator. Let's take a look at the next job on our list. A union journeyman plumber and pipe fitter who makes $46.33 an hour. It's important to take note that there are union dues to consider, but being a skilled tradesperson is no joke. With some hard work and dedication, you can make serious money, especially if you start your own business. Our local plumber charges a minimum of $300 per job and does two to three jobs a day, resulting in a substantial income. Pursuing a career in a skilled trade such as plumbing, carpentry, or electrical work can be a great alternative to the traditional route of going to college and trying to apply your degree. Don't overlook the potential of this path. Our next job involves building jet engines, which pays $43.13 an hour. This is a high-skilled job that requires a lot of technical expertise. The base pay alone comes out to about $90,000 a year, which is not too shabby. However, keep in mind that building jet engines incorrectly could have catastrophic consequences. If you live in an area with a lot of aerospace and are interested in this kind of technical work, it's worth considering. Next up is software sales. With a base salary of $110,000 a year, with an additional $110,000 in bonuses, bringing the total compensation to around $210,000 US dollars. While this job may have been affected by the pandemic, as companies begin to purchase big ticket items like software again, the commissions on software sales can be extremely lucrative. Software sales is an excellent field for those who are interested in sales and want to avoid selling equipment. If you have a good understanding of the product and can upsell your customers, you can make a killing. A salary of $210,000 to $220,000 is well within reason for many roles in software sales, especially in the software as a service (SaaS) industry. Now, we have a dental assistant claiming to make $30 an hour, which seems about right. That comes out to an annual salary of $62,000. $1,500, not including overtime pay. With some extra hours work, the total income could be around $70,000 to $75,000. Considering that you don't need to attend dental school to be a dental assistant, $30 an hour is a pretty good deal. Moving on to car sales. With the current market situation, car prices are going wild and it's hard to find any available cars. However, the ones that do come on the lot are selling themselves, which is a great time to be in car sales. The downside is that if there aren't any cars physically available to sell, it's tough to make a living. The earning potential for car sales is anywhere from $30,000 to $120,000 a year, depending on commissions. It's a massive swing and you will need to be financially savvy to handle the lean years. But right now, it's probably a good time to be selling cars. Let's take a look at the next job. A software engineer making $133,000 a year without considering any bonuses or discounted stocks. However, this figure could be misleading because $130,000 for an experienced software engineer is relatively low. A reasonable salary range for a mid-sized company could be anywhere from $150,000 to $170,000, not including bonuses. The bonus is where the asterisk comes in. Many companies offer a lower base salary but include a lot of stock incentives, which could result in significant income at the end of the year. So, we don't know the total income of this person, but they must be getting decent bonuses. If not, they might be a junior engineer. Next up is a dog walker and pet sitter. They can earn between $25 to $50 an hour, with an average annual income of around $75K. 
There's a lot of free time in this job and no stress especially if you love animals. However, there are no real benefits, so you'll have to pay for them out of your own profit margin. If you're working for someone else, you might make around $12 an hour, but if you start your own business and advertise around town, you could easily earn $25 to $50 an hour. It's worth considering if you want a low-stress job with plenty of free time. You'll need insurance and other things, but it's a potential side hustle that could turn into a full-time income. Another one is a travel nursing profession. The travel nursing profession has exploded recently due to the pandemic. A travel nurse can make up to $5,100 per week, which amounts to around $229k per year assuming they work 45 weeks. It's a high-stress job that requires constant travel and assignment changes, but the nursing profession is in high demand right now. If you're interested in this nomadic lifestyle, travel nursing can be very lucrative. The next one is working as a security guard at the museum that pays surprisingly well at $29.50 an hour. It may be stressful, but it's a good paying job if you can handle it. Just hope the museum doesn't come alive at night. Let us now take a look at a freight railroad conductor who makes 70 k a year. The downside is that there aren't many jobs available, and you'll be on the road a lot. Conductors usually work within a specific territory, so they don't have to travel across the country. However, they still have to work their way from home. Next, we have a garbage man who earns 95k per year. The only thing that is worrisome is that this job used to have two people in the back of the truck, but now automated trucks have eliminated those positions and replaced them with a robotic boom arm that grabs and throws the trash. Despite this, if the garbage man is truly earning 95k annually, it's not a bad job at all. Moving on, we have a professional video game bug tester who finds and reports on bugs to software developer teams. This job pays based on the size and number of bugs found. Last year, this person made around 360k, which is a lot of money to make by playing video games all day. We also have some data about minor league baseball player. If you are thinking about becoming a minor league baseball player, keep in mind that the pay is only 2k per month for 6 months, and there's no guarantee you'll make it to the big leagues. While it's okay to pursue your dreams, it's also important to have a backup plan. Now, let's talk about options investors. While one person laughed at an options trader making only 125,000, the sky is the limit for any trader who knows what they're doing. However, keep in mind that you can lose money just as quickly as you make it. Next on the list is a package handler at the United States Postal Service. The said person makes $34.23 an hour plus benefits, including healthcare, pension, and six weeks paid vacation. While the hourly wage isn't great, the benefits are excellent and hard to come by these days. If you can land this job, it's a pretty sweet deal. We also have a 911 operator job that pays $28 per hour. It might seem reasonable considering the high stress nature of the job and the urgency of the situations that they have to deal with. However, this job isn't for everyone for sure. Next, we have an animator with 16 years of experience in video games who earns $28 per hour. Although video game debugging may seem more lucrative, being an animator could still be a viable option for those who enjoy the video game world. Lastly, we have a social worker who earns $46,000 a year. It's important to remember that social work should be pursued out of passion, rather than solely for the money, as it's an industry that doesn't pay as well as others, such as software development and tech. Therefore, it might be wise to supplement social work with side hustles. Nonetheless, $46,000 per year is consistent with the industry's standard pay. Alright, that's all the data points and salaries for now. Keep in mind that these are self-reported and read, so take them with a grain of salt. But if you're feeling underpaid or looking for a new job, these numbers may give you some ideas or inspiration. And if you're interested in programming, be sure to check out our video from beginner to six-figure programmer for a roadmap to earning great money. Thanks for watching and happy job hunting! Hopefully, this has been helpful, and we'll see you in the next video.